What's going on guys, it's S Production Games and today we start in the first part of a new series working no not working let's make a game the Unity series yeah it's finally we on the Unity alright we're gonna be working on some 3D games three dimensional games are you guys ready for this alright first thing first if you don't have Unity yet installed in your computer? I think it's Unity.com, Unity3D.com, I believe. Let's check that out. And yeah, so type in Unity3D.com. This is the website, and there you go. Bam! Click on download. You can check everything out here. You know, if you don't know what Unity is, never heard of Unity. You know, take a look at some of the showcases and stuff. I don't got time to show you that, but you can do that on your own time. And it's quite, it's a very impressive engine, you know. I know it's, it's, it's highlight is more on the ease of use. It's more easier to use than others, I guess. But they can pull out some real nice, beautiful graphics and stuff. You can do amazing gameplay with this engine as well. So... We're gonna focus on that. So go here, download it. Oh yeah, you're already here. Download Unity 4.6.1, and you know, once you get that done, come back to this video and con let's continue. All right. So today, let me open Unity. This is it. You know, once you download it, this is what you get. And today, what we're gonna do? We're really just gonna be messing around. Like I ain't got nothing set yet. So, but. When I was playing around with this stuff, you know what I'm saying, this thing is so, has some automatic stuff and it's so quick, you know, that we can get a, a simple thing going so fast and I'm going to show you. Now, if you already know how to use Unity, this stuff, this, this episode might be completely useless to you because it's not going to have nothing. Uh, let's go to new project because I got other stuff already had open. Open it over again. So yeah. So if you already if you already been working on Unity, you you you, you probably already know all this because <laughs> you know this is like kind of like I'm very new on Unity right now, very very new. So to explain things, I just started a new project, and you know if, same thing with the, um using the Eclipse in Java and stuff like that. Project pretty much is the game, the whole package. Now the scene you can pretty much consider it as different stages and such and such. So this is the scene. This will show you the level here. You know you can click on that and move around. You see that camera? That's where the camera is located right now, automatically. And we got all these things right here. Uh, I'm not using any of these yet, but uh, you can play around these in the future. You can go to 2D mode and get out of 2D mode. We're not using 2D mode. We're going on 3D games and then. Yeah, so you know, since it's 3D, now we got the X, Y, and Z axis. Yep, yeah. Because working on 2D games like on the Java series, we only dealt with the X axis and the Y axis. Now we got the Z that's acting the 3D dimensional. Now the game here, this is actually what we what we have playable. This is gonna show up here. So what we have right now is pretty much this, nothing. <laughs> so. The inspector will pretty much contain a lot of the information that we need to modify on the objects that we create and stuff like that. And hierarchy is pretty much the list of things we have and you can, you know, mess with it. Assets, you know, it's stuff like uh, textures, any pictures, anything, the model, anything, anything we're using in the game that we're going to have to add in the, into the game will be here. It's considered like the res folder in and when you make the rest folder and like you know Java games and stuff like that so yeah so let's get started real quick first thing first let's 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 add um let's go to game object 3d let's make cube boom we got a cube there look at that already can you believe it working on 3d I'm so excited yeah so um let's change the scale Let's do 50x. Oh, that's 201. No, no, no. I don't want that. 
I'm gonna do 50. And it's then on the Z on the Z. That's what <laughs> I say Z. I've been here some people say Z, Z axis. That's I think this is the the UK the language English. Um yeah, so let's bring it down a little bit. Cover that. So yeah, so we got that done. Alright. So we got this big old plane here. As you can see in the map, we got that. It's all black right now. Next thing we want to do, let's go to let's add a light. Um light, point light, boom. We already got point light now. Let's increase the range. Go right here. If you can see my mouse, increase the range. We're gonna put the range to let's say 200 for now. Okay. The point light is added, and still it's not right. Just add it. Okay. Let's continue. Now. Next step, which which is like ugh, crazy for me, still unbelievable. Let's go to the assets here. We're gonna import assets now. Character controller. That's what we're gonna do. What this is pretty much, we're gonna be importing something that Unity automatically come with. And as you can see here, this is all stuff that we're gonna be importing. Let's not import it all. All right, let it load. Hold on, hold on. Alright, now it's all loaded. We'll open standard assets, character, con character controllers. Now there's two options third person controller or first person controller. Let's, let's do third person controller first. I'll put them in there. Now you know what? Never mind. Let's do first person. That's what I actually practice with. I ain't trying to. Stuck up in here. Okay, so we get that. All right. Oh, excuse me. Got a call. <laughs> okay, so we got the player in there. One thing, yeah. Let's forget. It. Back to the point light. Go back to the point light here. Let's raise it. It's too low. The light is actually below the plane, which is not good. But look at that. You see that difference? Wow. So yep, so we added the light, let's raise it up a little bit more. Okay, we cool, we cool. Okay, let's zoom in, it's the player. Now let's, now, this is the player right here. Press, press control it. This is going to be our player. And when you click right here on the hierarchy, this will continue. It has its own set of graphics. It ain't really much, but you know, it's all right. And it has its own main camera. So like, whoa, we got two main, two cameras? And we don't need two cameras, so... Since the first person controller has the camera, let's delete this one. Now, another thing for me, you know, I don't know all these shortcuts with the keys, like, you know, how they be having control S, control R, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know all that, but I know a little bit, but definitely don't remember them right now. And so I'm just going to do things. To... Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Drop the mic. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So let's continue in here now. Now, so we got the player in here, and let's play the game. You know what? I don't have a maximize on play. So right here, you see, you're looking around. Ain't much to look at, so it's kind of hard to tell if if it's really working right, right? Pressing the um, W A S D keys, you know, it's for the movement, and use the mouse to look around. And look, we walk in. Oh, look. That thing looked like, oh, I fell off. <laughs> look at you falling now. You're falling, falling. All right, then. All right. So, we got that. You see, that's how quick that was working already. Because that's stuff that Unity you know, have already set up for us, which is cool, you know. The, the previous series, working on the Java engine from scratch, you know. <laughs> we we'll, Right now, we'll be nowhere near doing this kind of stuff, you know. Especially working on 3D games. No. No, 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 no. That's the good thing about having game engines, which take care of a lot of that stuff for you. Um, now, definitely, you know, that don't mean we're gonna. If you were making the game, that you would definitely just jump up and use this. You know, it's very useful, 
but definitely might want to make changes to it because let me see can you actually make changes let me click on that now I'm going off script I don't know <laughs> what I'm looking at but this is pretty much looking at uh, the codes and see can you actually do that allow you to modify it and yes you can yeah there it is this is the stuff now this is in JavaScript not C sharp that's the thing I want to learn I want to work on C sharp not really JavaScript but I guess it might I don't know man. I don't know I'm really not interested right now working on JavaScript but this is using JavaScript for movement and yeah so that's what they already has set up and we're just using it right now okay next step let's move on quickly go back to assets let's go to import package and let's go to skyboxes alright it's gonna get kinda crazy so um, import the whole thing import the whole thing now let's let this load Alright. Alright, now that's loaded. Let's go back to the to the beginning, click on assets, standard assets, skyboxes. Now you can click on these and you kind of see on the side over here what they look like. Now this is actual sky. This is what you lose for use for the level. These different ones. These are preset from Unity. Cool, right? Yeah, definitely. You are if you're working on the game for yourself, that you know, serious, serious, big project. I know, you, I'm sure you would want to use your own thing. Yeah. So let's go to back to Firebase controller, main camera. We're gonna add component. Let's go to rendering, and then you're gonna go to skybox. Now make sure that's down here. And then simply immediately don't if you click on this then all this is gonna be gone. You're gonna show another the inspector tab here is gonna show something else. So what you want to do is just pick something that you really want. I liked Sunny one. And we're gonna just drag it right over here where it says none material. Boom. And look at that already. You see the sky in the game. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Now I would hop on and play that right now, but no, we're not, really, we're not done yet. I don't want to play it again with just a bland white ground. So it's going to mess with the assets again, real quick. And for package, okay, let's see, we got Terran assets. Is that what, is that what I want to use? <clears throat> let's do it. Import. Alright, done. Alright, let's go back to turn assets. Now we got textures. Now we got the cliff, layered rock. We got good dirt, grass. We got yeah, grass and rock. You need your grass and rock. So the, the use of it is just click on this and drag it right over here. Boom. <laughs> Look at it already. Let's lower this play down a little bit. I don't want them to go through the ground, but it's going to be okay. So it's on ground level. Now let's add some other stuff. Let's go back to Terran. Oh, trees and being oh, Let's click on that, and you see where it says palm the box. This actual texture model. We're gonna just click on it and drag it in there. Boom. Let's do another one. Boom. Now, if you've seen the trailer, this, this is pretty much what I did. <laughs> yeah, real simple. And okay, let's 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 click. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? No, I don't want to do that. Let's add another three D object. Let's use cylinder. Oh, where are you? Raise him up. 
Let's add the scale. Let's do five. Not four. I think it's four. Four. Now we're gonna place it on the ground. All right. Now let's go to uh, Terran Textures. Lay the rock. We're gonna drop right on there. Boom. All right. Wanna let's add another one. What you can do is click on it. What I'm doing. Shift click and press D to duplicate. Is that it? Oh no. Shift D. Nope. Control D. Is it? Uh oh. Whoa! I did. <laughs> Oh man. I did the whole I copied a whole bunch of cubes. Goodness. Alright. Delete. Alright. Got a whole other ground. That's not that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to click on the cylinder. Control D. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Let's add two. There you go. Good. Let's get a bit closer. Let's do another one. Control D. There you go. Let's add it to three. Alright. And let's hop on and play that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to maximize the screen. So that's what we got so far. Look at the sky, get the trees, look at that nice sun there, they all look nice. And spacebar to hop, look at that. So they're gonna jump on this. Got a little platforming going on already. Jump, and jump. Okay, jump back, jump. Oh, 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 I messed up. But anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much it we're gonna do for now. You know, messing around with this little game. We ain't got I don't got no real set game we're planning on working on yet. Right now I'm just messing around with the stuff that they have set. And maybe next video we'll start planning on what kind of game we're gonna make with this. But look already, man. Look at look already what we got going on already. Boom. You can walk, jump, this gravity. It's kinda crazy to me though, but it works, man. It works. Awesome, right? Just awesome. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to get serious. You know what I'm We're going to start something. Don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to start taking the time to plan things out and you'll see. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to follow along and let's make some games. Oh, yeah. Let me hop off. Commit suicide. Woo! Oh, you see things about me? Yep. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.